guys, it's Natalie here. Welcome back to the For You, my June favorite. I cannot believe how fast the year is going. We only have six months left till the year is over. Like, where is time going? But I do have amazing favorites to share with you guys this month, so let's get started. Alright, so this month I got to try out Scentbird, which is a monthly subscription for perfume. As you guys know, I love trying out new perfumes. I just feel like it's a really nice accessory, especially when you go out. People tend to remember you by scent, so it's always nice to try out new ones. I am absolutely loving this subscription. As you guys know, I've tried many subscriptions before, but this one has to be my favorite. It's one of the most affordable. It's only $14.95. And they basically sent you a little travel size like this one with whichever perfume you want inside. They have a large range of perfumes to choose from. And when I saw this one I had to get it because I've been trying to try it out and it is the YSL black opium I've heard so many great things on it but it's a little bit too expensive so I just wanted to test it out and this is the best way to do it it's only $14.95 like I mentioned before I have a discount code if you want to use it I'll link it right here I can't get over it. It's just such a feminine grown-up perfume. It smells so good one of my all-time favorite it's Gucci Guilty but this one has to be my favorite right now Love it. This is what it looks like. You basically just twist it up and the little perfume comes up. It's really nice to travel with. It also comes with this little baggie. Again, I'll link it down below for you guys so you can check it out, but I've really been loving it this month. Makeup wise, let's first start with my favorite out of all favorites this month, the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I'm so excited about this foundation. I don't want to talk too much about it because I already did a review on it. I'll link it down below for you guys so you could hear more on it, but I just absolutely love it. I'm so glad that L'Oreal came out with a glowy formula because the infallible pro matte it's one of my all-time favorite it's many people's favorite it's just one of the best foundations at the drugstore and this one is just as good if not better i feel like this one is going to be better for most skin types because the infallible pro matte it's very dry but this one is just perfect absolutely love it i feel like everyone should definitely give it a try if you're wondering i am um 211 and 210 but right now i'm using 211 all right so oprah came out with a new highlight this month it's called beverly hills and i love it the pigmentation in this it's amazing it has five different shades, but I was so impressed with the pigmentation. I'm going to swatch some individually. Like, I'm literally just slightly touching it, and it's giving an amazing pigmentation. That's what it looks like right there. I mean, just wow, guys. And then once you put it on, it's not what I have on today, but once you put it on, it looks like... Bam. It gives you that highlight on fleek kind of look and you don't even have to try hard which is what I love the most about it So a little bit goes a long way. I just absolutely love this More one. glowy stuff as you guys know for the summer It's all about that glow and I got to try out the beam team bronze hydrate and glow Guys, this is amazing. It's a liquid bronzer highlight kind of deal I apply it in my cheekbones before applying my highlight and it makes my highlight Bling like no other. I just really like it. I love the color. It's a beautiful bronzy shade That's what it looks like right there It just gives you a beautiful summer glow and it actually also has another side in the top which is a cream formula Again, really like it. It's just perfect for the summer also from the essay edit line I got to try out the Barris bronzer and medium deep This is such a big bronzer like look at my face and look at the pan. It's it's amazing. It's a really cool tone bronzer, so it's definitely not the best to contour with, but it gives you a beautiful summer bronze kind of look. And it actually has a little like splash of glitter on the side. As you can tell, it's super beautiful. It's matte and then it has that little splash kind of thing, as you can see. Staying on the glow theme, I recently went back to using the Glow Renewal from L'Oreal. It's basically an oil. It's a facial oil, but I use it for my legs. I basically mix it with my moisturizer. I just apply a few drops and it gives my legs the most beautiful glow ever. I just love it. I feel like it's a really cool tip. I'm pretty sure many of you guys already know about it, but mixing oil try it side note be careful when you use oil it's best to use it at night because the sun rays it's pretty intense out here so always apply sunscreen last makeup item goes to the born this way concealer from Too Faced I recently tried this out and I fell in love with it it's a really lightweight but full coverage concealer I also love the color range that they offer the only thing though I have noticed that it creases a little bit under my eyes nothing too crazy it's probably my setting powder so I probably have to try different setting powders but overall I really like it because it doesn't make my under dry dry or anything like that also I'm not a huge fan of the scent it smells like coconut and I absolutely love coconut but this smell is just like it smells like liquor to me I don't know why but I overall really like this it's a really long-lasting concealer it's super lightweight again 
and very full coverage. So the color that I'm using, it's medium for under my eyes right now. Moving on with hair care, I recently tried out this treatment from L'Oreal. It's the Ever Pure Sulfate Free 6-in-1 Cleansing Balm. It's very impressive. It has six different things that it does to your hair. It cleanses, conditions, treats. Uh, detangle, soften, and shine. To me, the most impressive thing is the fact that you use this once and you're going to see a difference immediately. I just love the way my hair looks and feels after I use this, so definitely recommend it if you're looking for a new hair treatment. This one is it. It brings so much product. So much product. Moving on with skincare, I have two to share with you guys. And first up is the Pixi Lash Nourishing Makeup Remover Pads. As some of you guys know, I don't really like using makeup wipes to remove my makeup. I just feel like it's an extra step. I also feel that it's going to give me wrinkles the more I rub my face. So I usually like going for cleansers that are liquid, but this one blew my mind. I very impressed. It really removes every little bit of makeup that you have on, even waterproof makeup. I just, I'm really impressed with this. Look, I'm going to remove all the glitter. Oh, also glitter and like anything like that, it removes it instantly. I just, I love it so much. It brings 80 pads. Oh, here it says waterproof makeup dissolver. <laughs> That's why it's so amazing. It also has argan oil and panthenol. You guys know I'm really bad at pronouncing things. It also has castor oil. It's great for all skin types and it's fragrance free. It's also par paraben free and it's not tested on animals. Definitely recommend it. Pixie you can find at Target by the way. Last skincare is from Lush. I love trying out new masks and this one has been my favorite this month. It's the Mask of Maminti mask. Guys, if you have acne prone skin or troublesome skin or like marks in your face, this is what you need. I have to go back and get the full size, but I've been using these two little samples that I got at the store and I just, I really love it. This is what it looks like. It's a green mask. It's a very strong mask. It smells like mint and it just, I feel like it works. It actually works. It just makes my skin look clear and be clear and stay clear. I haven't gotten many pimples, knock on wood, but I feel like this is what it's helping. So definitely recommend it if you have acne prone skin. Random favorites. I feel like I don't have many TV shows to share with you guys as I usually do. I just, I've been watching the same things over and over again. So nothing new here. I've been watching Scream. I've been watching Game of Thrones. I'm still in season two though. So, you know, like don't get too excited. Don't jinx it either. I told my friend I was watching Game of Thrones and she's like, oh, I stopped watching it because so-and-so died. I was like, dude, like, don't do that. She basically jinxed it for me, but um, I know everyone dies in that show, so yes, I'm ready. I've been also watching Orange is the New Black and movies. I went and watched The Conjuring 2. So good. So, so good. I liked the first one a little bit more, but the second one was still good. So definitely recommend it if you like scary movies. All right, so music favorites. As you guys know, my favorite part and my handy dandy microphone.
All right, so that was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below some of your favorites this month, some of your music favorites. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time. Bye. Um. Pretty, uh, how you how you call that? All right. It's very impressive. <laughs> wow. What show ended that I watched? And I was like, oh my god. Are you done? Are you done? Fuck me, right? Is that another one that's coming? Cause I'm a, I might lose it. Try this out. I won't lie to you, and anytime you want it to stop. What's up? <laughs>